This is a short introduction into the workspace database from LSEC, London Stock Exchange. Uh, you can find information on it uh, on the Finding Data LibGuide from the library. Um, at the moment there is an announcement uh, about the changes uh, which involve the workspace database. And if you go uh, to the website you find all kinds of information on how it works. It will require an account. Uh, you can request that account from us, but only starting in 2024. And uh, the main uh, options to use it are either internet software like Chrome, Safari or Edge. Uh, and also there's specific software to do other things with the database and do bulk downloads. So let's go to the website through Chrome. That's workspace dot refinitive dot com forward slash web that's the web interface and let's use my account you'll need your uh, student uh, account or personnel account to uh, request a login once you've received that from us you can log in to the workspace uh, option and there you see we have uh, our application. Here you can all find all kinds of apps. The main navigation options are at the left top corner. You have the little uh, lines which allow you to quickly switch between apps and environments. You see here that's quickly done. Or if you want to have information on uh, companies uh, or other stuff, you can go there. Uh, the other option to use is the app library app library you can find under the abbreviation WS and uh, in the app library you'll find all kinds of apps to go to specific uh, sections for instance company data all kinds of company related apps and for instance if you want to do a quick chart you can go there and you can call up a quick chart uh, let's click that on and we open that screen and you find all kinds of options to create quick uh, charts. The other option is uh, the Refinitiv software which looks basically the same. So let's close this screen. And if you have Refinitiv software installed you can just call up the uh, software on your desktop or laptop. And you need to log in of course. Uh, we use the same login we had before. passwords and there we go sign in it notices that we've already signed in on the website so uh, that's why the question appeared the workspace software has more options uh, has a lot of uh, additional options but the screens look basically the same so no surprises really there. So now it builds the screen, all kinds of options. And the important thing to, remind, to remember is uh, you have a search bar at the top. This you can use to quickly search for a specific company, like uh, if you want to interested in, in Microsoft, you can quickly go there using the app that's open at the moment. But uh, you have different sections here. Uh, but you can also go to a specific app uh, or if for instance you want to create a list of things you can go to the screener app and you see here it specifically says app and then you go to an entirely different screen where you can do all kinds of uh, options to create your own list uh, these have some limitations but uh, this is the main option to create lists of companies or deals or similar stuff the final option is to use the Excel add-in, which comes with the installation of the uh, workspace software. Um, I already signed in into the software, so clicking the sign in button immediately allows me access to the workspace ribbon. We have all kinds of options again here. You can create templates, build your own formula, 
You can use the screener option, which looks similar to the one you had in the website of uh, Refinitiv Workspace. And what you can also do is you can call up the data stream options, which some of you might remember. And uh, these allows even more options. Uh, this is the, option, the main option to do bulk downloads. Um, there's also additional options, which I won't go into too much here. But uh, this is uh, really uh, a lot of extra options which come with the software.